want now to look at uh, the importance of the lent cells and the breathing roots in terms in relationship to gaseous exchange in plants. Lent cells, these are found in wooden structures. And uh, gaseous exchange takes place across the lens cells. These are openings on the back of old stems and roots. And they are formed from cells of from the cortex, slightly raised from the surface. And uh, they allow gases to be exchanged between air and uh, inner tissues of a plant. Lent cells, as we have said that uh, they are openings on the back of old stems and roots. We know that uh, in plants, gaseous exchange takes place via the stomatas in the leaves. But uh, when the tree grows and becomes very large and wide, the gaseous exchange that takes place in the stomat alone is not enough. So what happens is that at the, on the back of the tree, there are places that open up. And when these places open up, they develop what we call the lens cells, which are used for gaseous exchange between those areas around the lens cells. And we have seen that they are formed from cells of the cortex, which are slightly raised from the surface, and they allow gaseous exchange to take place, meaning that the inner tissues of the plants now can gain or get access to oxygen very easily. Now, we want to look at the breathing roots. The breathing roots are roots that are exposed to air. They are found in oxygen poor environment where we have water and mud logging. Especially the mangroves have breathing roots that grow out of water and mud to take in air from the atmosphere. So the main purpose of the breathing root is to supplement the oxygen provision for the roots to respire and for the case of mangroves this is where the breathing roots grow out of the water and take in air from the atmosphere so the lens cells and the breathing roots are very important to the plants where the plant has overgrown and the uh, bark is very thick it uses the lens cells to take in air to the surrounding cells for easy survival and the breathing roots they will help the plant especially those plants that are in waterlogged areas and mud locked up areas the roots will grow above the water level and above the mud level and get oxygen from the atmosphere which oxygen is going to be used by the plant roots next time we shall look at adaptation of aquatic organism in relationship to gaseous exchange